Hi everyone, uh, here's the next episode of my SimCity 4 Let's Play. In the last one I was working on this highway interchange in the main island. And I got it about half finished now, I guess. Um, so yeah, I mean, on this side it splits apart uh, two and two lanes, and the rightmost uh, two lanes become the ramps for the highway. So I've got to kind of replicate that on this other side too. But I've realized that it might be a little bit difficult because... Um, there's a, uh, there needs to be four lanes to split off the two on the right here, or at least three lanes, I guess. So I'm going to see what I can do about that, because I'm going to first try, uh, making it into a six-lane RHW, so that can split into two different highways. So if I just put this starter piece right here, redrag the neighbor connection, And in case I forget, I'll place the neighbor connector piece. And one of the, uh, let's see, the flex ramps is right here. And I'm going to use the, the, the type A2 ramp here. So that's kind of messed up the slope a little bit, I guess. I'll just flatten that out. Um, so I can just uh, drag that right about there. Actually, I should try to make it one-way road as long as I can, though. So that I can make the uh, turn around pretty close. Uh, okay, maybe this needs to be a bit longer. So, I need that look ahead before, um, well, actually, I guess I could only make the turnaround about this far away, so it'd be kind of, uh, pointless since it's so close to the actual, uh, intersection, so I'm just gonna actually go ahead and drag this across, so there can be a left turn directly right there. So now I can start dragging this out, um, and part of it's going to go under the freeway, not all of it though. So I'm going to just imitate what I did here um, with the type E1 piece, and that's going to be, I think, like right there, I think. So now I can drag the curve and everything. Um, let's try that again. I'm just going to flatten that out, just to make it smoother. Um, so I had a 90 degree curve, which was, what, three tiles between that and the freeway on this side. So one, two, three. Here's where I'll put my ramps. Oops. I want that to be an RHW, not a road. So like I'd said before, this is going to need to uh, have the canal realigned a bit. It's because I can't really fit on all those ramps on this side of it. So just going to kind of flatten all that and then probably remake it it's further down here. Or maybe in some other configuration, I don't know. And, okay, I'm going to count these tiles again, so I've got like, um, that much, so I drag it to 55 simoleons worth, I guess then it will just be in the right place, because this is where the center of that, uh, splitting type ramp was on the other side here, this right there. So, I'm going to first flatten out the land to make sure everything works out with that. And then I can just 
Um, put this piece right here. Okay, and then I can just flatten up to go up to the uh, the end there. I think this is a flex ramp on this side too. Um, so I'm gonna do the same over here. <coughs> that was where it was. place the 90 degree curve <coughs> and I'll first drag out the slope I guess see how that works um, and that seems fine so I'm gonna actually put uh, this spider ramp piece on the other side too that was right here. So that uh, kind of messed up the slope, I guess. I'll need to try and remake it a bit. Let's see what this does. That's better. Alright, now I can just drag that, I think. Yep. That kind of completes it, I guess. Try to smooth this out a bit. Maybe. smooth this out a tiny bit more, see if I can do that easily. There, that's better. Alright, and like on the other side I'll do this part of the interchange, striking the ramps to this intersection. gonna look like this I guess I'm gonna need to flatten a bit more land so I'll just do that Try that again. Just push it back a bit to match the other side. Alright, that looks about right. And I can just put the uh, fractional angled ramp on this side too. So I'm going to count to make sure it's the right length, same as the other side. So I had 22 here. Now that will be where, let me think. I think this is going to be right there. 
Oops, there will be a tile over actually. So uh, right there. Yep. Just complete that for now. And I can do the same in the other direction. Alright. Well, that basically completes that interchange. Just need to make the overpass ramp or bridges now. So, I'll just take care of that now. And I, def I know I left this uh, about 15 meters off the ground from the other side of the bridge, and I'm not sure why I uh, did that, because actually I could just make it lower for the overpass height, and that would have worked just fine, but I guess it's here now, so it might come in handy later on. This I mean, this whole uh, embankment part of the highway, but it's fine. I just need to rebuild that after I put these transitions in. So hopefully everything will work out once I've finished this. Um, I'll need to do the thing with the railways again to uh, get rid of these st uh, overhanging pieces. So, let's see if this works. No? Guess not. Hmm. That's a bit of a problem then. Um, so normally I just drag out from there. And what I'm going to try is actually just use some filler pieces to kind of make that match up there. And it doesn't matter what type or what orientation I'm putting them in actually, so because I'm just going to demolish them and leave the stubs behind. Uh, like this. Oh, that was really unpleasant. I just destroyed this entire slope. I'm going to have to rebuild that real quick.
Alright, do that again for I guess. And the reason I'm doing this is because if I just left those pa parts that I just uh, destroyed with the railway, I wouldn't be able to drag these ramps underneath them directly. So I have to do this instead. That's better. Ah, oh, jeez. It's trying to flatten this out. Well, does not want me to do that, I guess. Didn't realize that was still a bit messed up. Alright, one more time. Alright, that's what I want. Now I should be able to finish this, hopefully. Save real quick first. Oh, no. That's not good. Eh, I'm just going to go back to the save version. Drag it like this, will it do that? Maybe. No, that's good. Alright. Well, now I can just uh, put that flex ramp piece back. I'm also going to need to um, have this transition back to four lanes per direction because it's five when it enters here and there's going to be a fifth one that joins here as you can see. So I'm going to need to put these transition pieces here. I'll get a lot of merge space I guess, might as well. Do the same on this side. And I've noticed that I also have a problem with uh, the override not staying in place here. Uh, so it's not the right type of highway on the overpass. So I'm going to need to do about that would be. Um, to just uh, put starter pieces in the middle, since there's this median tile, that kind of makes it easier. It's level 2, 10S, okay. That takes care of both of those. Hmm. Still got some problems with uh, the overpass being the right type. So hopefully I can fix that. Usually I just have to click around for, for a while. There, that's for one side. Um,
getting a seems a bit difficult to finish. Um, maybe if I just clicked here. Okay, that took care of that one. That was giving me problems. Okay. Now, let's see. What about this, though? There. Alright, there's the one side. And I'm not sure about this, because this is definitely the wrong type. It's not converting properly. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm going to fix that. Oh, well, I see why it isn't, because this should be a eight-lane highway, or four lanes in a direction. So I'm going to try and fix that now. Alright, good so far. I guess I should probably drag these one-way roads through first, because that's going to mess this up again, probably. Well, sort of. Not too bad. Hmm. And let's see. Fix that. So I'm saving an awful lot, but it's, uh fast, I guess, so it doesn't really matter. Because it's easy to click in the wrong place and mess things up, and then have to take a long time to get wor back to where you were with the RHW mod sometimes. And now that uh, pretty much finishes it, I guess. Nice. And I already put the neighbor connector piece. Okay. Great. Well, that looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? urban type of uh, folded diamond type interchange or something. This is a partial clover leaf, like A4 kind of really tight one. Um, so yeah, that's uh, my interchange. Now I can just continue building this. I'm going to kind of extend it out a ways for now. Like I said, I wanted to uh, Rebuild the canal. So, what was it I said I was going to do with this uh, canal? I can't quite remember. Because um, I think I was going to make this like have a lower level down and have a seawall, like river walk type thing. So it's going to need, uh, need another uh, another tile flattened out. Oh, I think I remember now. That's right. I was going to make this actual elevated highway. Because, uh, yeah, okay. That would be better, because I don't see how anyone would even walk on this river walk, because it would be kind of cut off from the rest of the city, and it would just be along the freeway. So, 
try to change that now. I knew there was some reason I didn't need that extra tile here. So actually I didn't need to do any of this. So I'll just undo that. Just to flatten it out again. And just continue that. I'm going to flatten this at the very end, though, um, so the highway can go off the edge to the uh, other side, and that would be a higher up bridge, because there's an actual bridge for the elevated highways um, over water. Maybe I should make this a bit wider. Not sure how much of the game will need me to have that flattened. So I think I'm going to, let's see, make that much. Yes, and then I'm going to extend the canal underneath here like I said I would do. So kind of just flatten this. So, okay, just going to flatten this up again, a bit more. And I need to make this uh, more smooth and straight, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to flatten this a bit more for the uh, river walk, I guess, the seawall. Just going to continue and get rid of this water here.
Alright, now that's uh, looking a lot better. And just to make sure this is the right height for the uh, for little bridge here, I will flatten that out and undo that for this part. Alright, and now we need to take the highway tool, drag a couple bridges here. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the uh, type that I'm looking for, the RHW-10 bridge. So, I don't know if that's because it's not a long enough span or what. But hopefully I can get around that somehow. I don't really want to make the canal any wider than this. So I might actually just make this an RHW-8 section. So this bridge will work. And that kind of flattened it out like it wasn't supposed to. So... See, I should be able to fix that, hopefully. Still wants to do the same thing. Um, I push this back a bit. How would this work? Hmm. Well, I'm just going to make it like that, I guess. Make that the same on this side. So I'm going to have to use the type C ramp instead of what I was using before. That's not going to form a new lane as you can see. But I don't know, it's kind of a, a smooth kind of ramp anyways. Car should have enough uh, time to get up to speed there anyway. It's not really such a problem I guess. In this case. And this is going to have to be a different type of ramp also. The type A1 ramp. I'll just make it a flex ramp because I did in the other ones too. Push this back a bit more. There. Alright. That completes that. Nice. It doesn't look like the elevation is quite right for that, so I'm going to just uh, put that exactly at 15 meters so that it's not having a little uh, s s uh, slope going up to the uh, elevated part, I guess. So. I'm going to 
go ahead and put some starter pieces here for now. Uh, let's see. 8S, okay. Alright, that looks better, I guess. So this can just uh, allow me to put a few um, well, bridges, like roads, through underneath the uh, elevated part and over the canal. And I guess uh, I might as well try and drag the rest of it out last part of the bridge. Oops. need to remake this a bit more too. Oh, what the? That was didn't need to happen. Well, I guess I'll try and make this again then. That's weird. Hmm. If I put this one more tile in length. Okay, that's great. It's not letting me do it at all. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's strange. feel like trying to figure out why it won't let me uh, finish this bridge right now, so I think I'll end the episode right about here, and uh, so it's been a long time that I've been just working on transportation stuff, and I promise that in the next episode you'll see some actual zoning, residential and commercial type development along this avenue probably. So uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>